Aloha, friends and family. Coming back at you with another bonus video. I'm calling these bonus videos because I usually only upload on Monday and Wednesday. Now I'm gonna be bringing you guys videos since we still got more content coming out of Australia, which we still have the Penrith Reptile Expo coming up. We've still got catching an Owen Pelly Python out in the wild coming up. I was inspired to pick up the camera today because just yesterday, hi T, hi T, I put this swing up that we had had up at our, at our old house, but I, it kind of just been sitting on the side. I hadn't attached it to a tree yet. I just wanted to share with you guys. It popped up on my Facebook memories today. You know, Facebook pops up those little memories of whatever happened to you in the last four years. And four years ago, I actually built this thing out of some scrap wood and some pallet wood. And here's a little clip of Eli swinging in it. And now I'm, I'm putting little Missy Moon in it. What you got on your face, T? What you been eating there? You got all kinds of food. Hey, T, what do you know? Say, I know. I know. You know what? Now what? What do you know? Roxanne. Roxanne? Yeah. What about Roxanne? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what huh? about? <laughs> huh? You just want to swing? Yeah. Go this. Those of you guys wondering how I got that shot from up top, sometimes things take work. Hey Mushy, I think all your crackers fell out in my pocket. Oh, oh yeah, Touche. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's more. I don't really know if I will, oh, man. Uh -oh. Uh oh. <laughs> There's a lot more. <laughs> Don't put the lens cap in the pocket. Don't put the lens cap in that pocket. Just checking in with you guys, see how you guys are handling it out there. We've been, it's honestly, it hasn't been affecting me personally all that much. It is, it is a little different being away from people more than usual, which is not so bad. I'm, I'm fairly introverted as a person as it is, so it's really not so, oh my gosh, that's kind of gross tea. Um, nom, nom, nom. We had a friend just drop off some wine from their family winery. I do have one cousin who's working as a nurse and working in a hospital and we just checked in with her and she seems to be, seems to be doing all right too, but uh, I don't know, it's just. Hey boys, how has it been for you being stuck at home and not going to school and how, how is it? Good. Oh, it's good? You like it? Yeah. You having a good time? Yeah, I what like staying home with mommy. And what about me? I like staying home with me too. Oh. Thanks, bud. Spoiled. And I also got a... I thought I got a new tattoo, but it didn't work out. What do you know? I know. Lakeisha geckos did the small what? Lakeisha geckos. Lakeisha geckos? No, Lakeisha geckos. I mean, no, I mean chameleons. Okay. They're the smallest lizard in the world, and they're cold-blooded like the rainforest leeches and. And that's all I know. That was Rokisium chameleon. Oh. Hey, Noah. What? Yeah. What do you know? I know. Rocks with crystals inside. What about rocks with crystals inside? That this is probably marble, and it has some sort of quartz inside. And that's all I know. Oh, all right. Bye. <laughs> You want to put these on? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. What do you know? Roxanne. Roxanne? And 
Gecko. And geckos? Broken. So for, for us, all the schools have been canceled for a while, and it looks like they'll probably be canceled for the rest of the year, which is unfortunate because uh, pretty much every reptile event I had scheduled has been, been canceled up until the end of May or the end of the school year. We were booked for every single... What? What? Yeah, that's, that's Daddy's truck. We're returning that truck in a few days. Lease on my truck is up soon. I haven't called Toyota yet, but I'll probably call them today and figure out what it's going to be like. I, I'm going to get a used vehicle instead, get rid of a car payment, kind of try and start building a bit stronger savings. Regardless of all that stuff, yeah, the, the, I'm hoping that the library shows will pick back up, but we're just doing it day by day over here. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day, so we're just kind of playing it day by day. And Hopefully, by the summertime, all this stuff will blow over. Who can say, though, right? We, we don't really know. I broke my phone. My phone was slowly destroying itself on its, on the way back to Australia. I dropped in the water. It is waterproof, technically, but it, they don't really put up with the water like they claim to. Uh, and it's, it's dead. It does. <laughs> okay, well, why'd you take it off, Bing Bing? There you go, T. So there's supposed to be a new iPhone Pro Max, iPhone 11 Pro Max showing up at the house sometime today. And when it gets here, I want to test it against this camera. I've heard lots of amazing things about the camera on that phone, so I'd kind of like to put it to the test and do a side-by-side -side comparison with you guys and, and see what you guys think about the difference in quality between this awesome camera right here and, a, and a, what essentially, in my mind, is a simple cell phone. Nice kind of weather to be able to bring Roxanne outside and, and let her get some basking because we got UV in her in her enclosure. But I like her to come out as much as possible and get real sunlight on her skin too. So yeah, little Roxanne update. Ooh. First of all, I almost dropped my camera to tell you that you need to take care of your tools, right? True. Daddy, yeah. um, m m in a while, ooh, do you want to go to Madagascar on a whole family trip? Uh, yeah, that sounds exciting. Yeah. The old Liebers live there, right? Yeah, yeah you, you've been street 10 rats. Still waiting for the phone to get here. Figured I'd put in a little exercise work. Man, I, I gave Hillary a bunch of crap for getting that bike at first, like just kind of making fun of it a little bit. Not too bad, but definitely making fun of it and like the idea of like, I'm not gonna ride that thing. Well, let me tell you what, right about now I'm feeling pretty good and I'm thanking that bike for it. And you know what, it's no surprise to me that I do. I was thinking that would happen. So my advice to any of you guys that are stuck at home, exercise. If you're starting to feel a little bit like, uh, get some exercise in, you feel great. So here's kind of my take on the coronavirus and how it's affecting us currently around home and, and my, my vibe in particular. Unless some crackhead zombies come walking up that driveway looking to get their heads knocked off, I think I'm feeling pretty good about the whole situation. <laughs> All right, there they go. See if it works after I just dropped it on the ground. So, what's your uh, what's your revelation as to what is going on out there? Oh, um, okay. So you figure throughout human history, viruses have appeared, whether they be 
human created or come from animals, they have to start somewhere, right? So like kids get RSV, uh, the flu, uh, hand, foot, and mouth, all these different viruses that go around and that we kind of have like gotten used to the fact that they're around. Well, this is okay. a new one. All right. So we can't try to run from it forever because what if this becomes another seasonal illness like the flu, like influenza that comes every winter because now it's in, it's in us. So basically like if people just run in quarantine forever and hide from it, we're not going to, no one's going to build a natural immunity to it. I actually thought about this uh, yesterday, actually, the, the same thing you were talking about while I was running. And I was thinking about how a lot of, you know, like the whole Native American population here basically got wiped out by a disease <clears throat> because they had no immunities to, to those said diseases. diseases. Right. Yeah, I, I was thinking, so I had thoughts like that just yesterday. So also the numbers game is such a media... I'm not worried about thing. the media. I'm worried but, about so what you, what your thoughts were. I don't know if you heard like the the head virologist of the UK basically said we might just let everyone get it or people get it because once we get to like 60 something percent of the population contracting it, we'll have herd immunity, hmm. and then you know it it will, that will kind of naturally flatten the curve of what they're talking about. Well, what's going on though? You said you had this great revelation. You finally figured out what's going on. Well, that on. this is a new virus and that oh, none of us have immunity. Hillary <laughs> figured it out first. No, it's a no, new no. virus. But oh, like, quick, call, a, call, call everybody. <laughs> but that like, but that maybe quarantining isn't the only option. Like, are you trying to get out of uh, this self, this self quarantine? That no, we? I'm chill. I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm just saying like, so say we quarantine this year and a lot of us don't get it. Well, what if it comes back next year? Are we going to have to do this every year and like really hurt people's income and which, you know, is another cause of death in certain ways. Those can be linked to each other. I don't know what the solution is. Oh, I'm not I thought you anything. had solutions. No, I, solutions. I thought you figured everything out. I okay, I'm, like, I'm out of here. The whole like fact that like eventually we might all need to get it if we want to create natural immunity to it might have to happen which does mean some people are going to get very sick and some people are going to die which is awful but that is kind of the course of human history as far as things go with viruses that we can't escape them they're going to find us and well I'm Told any me. Solution, but no, I'm you're just, not. I just had that kind of aha moment of like that's we're gonna look back and see 2020 is the year that the coronavirus 19 or COVID 19 entered human society, and we kind of are just gonna have to deal with it. Probably not just this one year. Could told me that it was uh, invented by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to uh, take out some of the population because we're getting overpopulated. Or that it's a 5G, 5G cover-up. and the, Well, so I guess Gavin Newsom, I haven't really looked into this, but just approved 5G to be installed in schools while this is happening. And there's been cases of schools that had 5G towers installed right next to them. And I think it was a high school and like six kids developed cancer. And if you look at a map of where 5G is and you compare it with the coronavirus outbreaks, it's pretty spot on. Oh, man, I was hoping I was just going to discredit <laughs> Gonna be like he's crazy. <laughs> hey, uh, that's, I, that's just what I've read. I'm not saying that's truth. I, it's, it, you know, who knows? We don't know 5G how it affects human um, cellular Daddy, makeup. Daddy, push me. What about you, T? Huh? What do you think about this She's whole like, thing? I got my watermelon hat yeah. and my unicorn boots. Life is Russia. good. I got my new swing, Russia. my new old swing. <laughs> Okay, so I've got both cameras up and running here and I'm doing it so that as you can tell I can't see the screen of the cell phone and I wanted to do it. this is a slightly challenging uh, setup here for a phone that you can't control while the manual settings, you know, or a camera such as on the phone where you can't control tons of manual settings. It's spotted dappled light. It's kind of challenging for something like this. I'm facing it that direction because it, if you can see the other side, it actually has three cameras on it and you can switch between those three different uh, modes right here and the reason that's kind of important to me 
is because when you're trying to vlog, you can see that on this camera here, we're getting a much wider shot just because of the lens I have on here. But the fact that you have an option on this camera to switch to a wide angle lens, that's kind of a big deal for me as far as vlogging goes uh, and, and using a phone to do it. And there's a little bit of breeze. This camera is much better, I'm assuming, than this one at, at audio and video, of course. But the big benefit to having the cell phone is that you can carry it in your back pocket, take it anywhere. You don't have to you know, worry about dropping it all that much, especially with this case on here. And uh, the next test I'm gonna wanna do here is I'm gonna ride down the road with my one wheel and see how the sound is affected and, and just, because the one wheel is gonna be the big thing. If I'm out running or doing something really active, having the phone is gonna be a big advantage versus carrying this thing around. So let's go test it on the one wheel and then we'll go sit inside the studio and see what that looks like. Got, got both cameras side by side here, rolling up street. And uh, luckily this is a great street for testing this type of thing out on because our street averages about three cars a day and that's including the UPS driver. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see how this turns out. So this is the iPhone right here. And whoa, and this is me going on the grass. And that, ooh, and then this is the other camera right here. So now this is where, this is where this is where I really think that the difference is gonna come across is, is this thing is not gonna do nearly as well audio-wise, video-wise, especially in the studio, especially if I can just put a camera on a tripod like, and I've got this camera, why wouldn't I use this camera right here over the, over the iPhone, even the wide angle lens? I, I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I can't see it right now. This, that's the one thing about using this wide angle lens is that you have to point the camera towards you so you're not able to actually see yourself and have a monitor. So that's another downside to using the phone if you want to get that wide angle, which I would. Every time I wanted to use this camera to vlog on the on the iPhone, I would want to have the wide angle. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know. Well, I can't I can't give it a review right now because I don't really I don't see. But if it's as decent as I think it's going to turn out, especially if you're out, out there riding around and stuff, I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogging using the cell phone when I'm out and about if if that makes sense to do so but either way i'm just bored and i got a new toy and i'm having fun with it uh i gotta feed a bunch of snakes you guys want to join me for that mm. one thing i forgot to mention i did just take a few photos with this thing and pff, it pretty amazing the fact that you can actually adjust the depth of field like look at these shots of leia i can adjust the focus after the fact on the depth of field to show how much of, you know, you can choose how much of the background you want to be in focus versus giving it that nice bokeh, out of focus, cinematic kind of camera look. That, that is sweet. Hitting some push-ups the other day and I guess that was yesterday. Whew, I'm sore. Triceps are sore. You guys ready for the big girl? Here she comes. Big old Betsy Ross. You ready to watch some rabbits? You ready? What you think? Huh? These things suck. Come on, baby. Come over here and get some food. Come on. There she comes. Hey, you. Over here. sanitize the outside of the enclosures as well all right guys i'm gonna i'm gonna clean up this mess i'm gonna get out of here i'll see you guys uh 
next video.